How's it going, y'all? Back with a new day of video. Let's get right down to it. Eagles preseason game. Preseason number two. Now, let's just talk about it. So, as the game, you know, is starting up, you know, me and, you know, my pops were talking about Cody Kessler. Hey, let's see what he's got. I already said, I know he's a little bit of proven in the league. You know, even though he played terrible last week and he played terrible and I saw him at the training camp. But he... I was expecting something out of him. You know, like, hey, you know, let's see what he's got here. Even though he's proven in the league, I've seen him with the Browns. I've seen him with the Jags. I think he played one game last year, if I'm not mistaken. Whatever. So we're all like, okay, let's see what he's got. Because it looks like, you know, Nate Sudfeld's out for five or six, you know, five or six weeks. First quarter. Might have been the first drive. Concussion. Injured. He'll be fine. He's not going to miss a lot of time. I will say this, though. Clayton Thorson, he redeemed himself. Okay, When I seen him in practice, he was bad. Oh, he was decent. And then when I seen him last week, he looked like he did. He was like just out of water, didn't, out of sync, didn't know what was going on, didn't know what the hell was happening. And it was crazy because he had a damn good game. Uh not damn good, but pretty good. You know, he started out a little shaky. Then he had some really good throws that were balls that were dropped, that were catchable balls that were dropped. Um, but he showed me a lot more than we did last week. You know, he looked like uh, a fish out of water last week. He didn't know where he was. This week, he turned it around. Um, I still think we need to bring some arms in. Definitely, I bring in some more, some more backups or some arms. Just, just some people. You know, you know, it doesn't matter. Let's just take a look. But still, I do like Clayton. I like them even when we draft them. I like them. Yeah, but I just thought I was like, this guy, I like them when we draft them, but then I thought he sucked. You know, after seeing that one game and then at the practice seeing them, and just thought like, you know, eh, this guy, he ain't no, you know, he, he can't last in the league. He's a third stringer. Or what was he? Yeah, basically, what, a third stringer? Yeah. But so let's just put it this way. Oh, sorry, fourth stringer. Sorry. But let's just put it this way. The positive note is this. That you go into the game with your third stringer, you lose him in the first quarter, in the first drive. Clayton takes over, and what happens when Clayton takes over? We still won the game, twenty-four to what was it, twenty-four to seven, twenty-four to three, whatever. But all I'm saying, well, even though it's preseason, it really doesn't matter that we won. I'm just saying it's a positive note that hey, we still went in there with that, and still we're able to pull out a W, even though it's preseason, it doesn't matter. Um, I will say Greg Ward, he had a really solid game. Um, what was it? I know he had a touchdown. Did he have two catches, 49 yards, 50 yards, something like that? I don't know the exact stats. So we don't care. It's preseason at this point. Um, Miles Sanders, though, he showed me he showed me what I wanted to see. I loved it. Um, I you know I really liked what I seen from him. You know, even the first carry, the first what was it? The first play of the game, handed off to him. Big mesh over here. He turns it up. Boom, goes straight through, straight through this big gap, a big hole, <laughs> hits it and goes. He played great. Well, not great, but I would say from what I expected to see, because last week, what do you have? Three rushes for three yards? That's whatever. Um, but I seen what I wanted to see from him. Some big runs, some explosive runs. And, you know, I'm hoping to see a lot more. I did. We did see a little Jordan Howard tonight. I did like seeing that. Um, but, man, this is a tease. I cannot wait for the season to start. I cannot wait for the season to start. And I wanted to see just a little more Miles Sanders. I'm telling you, this guy is going to be something. I'm telling you. And I don't feel like I'm, I don't want people to think I'm just talking, you know, talking out of my ass, just saying stuff. No, honestly, he he's good. I'm happy he redeemed himself tonight. He didn't play the greatest of greatest, but he did play like I expect him to, and he looked good. Jordan Howard at first, I was thinking, oh, well, you know, he ain't going to get no carries. Uh, I thought it was just going to be Miles Sanders. And if they were going to have Jordan Howard, I thought he would be getting carries first, not later in the game. I was like, whoa, okay, Jordan Howard's getting carries. Um, the starters, some starters play on defense, like Malcolm Jenkins, Brandon Graham. They actually wanted to play. I think they actually asked Doug to play. That's what I heard before when the game was getting started. They're like, hey, they, they wanted to play. They want to play. They want to play. They asked or something like that. So they had a couple starters out there, Malik Jackson, a couple other guys. Um the defense looks solid, but they're playing backups. doesn't matter. Overall, though, with the whole quarterback thing, that's the big thing. And Miles Sanders played really well. A few other guys, too. 
Um, but the Miles Sanders, not Miles Sanders, sorry, with the quarterback situation, we'll see. I know they're definitely going to bring guys in this week. I know the the Cody Kessler concussion is only like a two-week injury or one-week miss, but still, this is preseason. We need guys now. We need to see who has arms and see what they can do. We need a serious backup in here. Um, so let's see um, where they go from here with that situation. And I'm going to ask one question. You guys can comment below on your thoughts. Would you guys like to see Carson play any preseason games, or would you like to see him sit? A part of me wants to see him not play him at all after seeing both quarterbacks go down and going, oh, damn. But then again, it's like, hey, you know what? It is a backup offensive line. You know, it's not the starters. So he's gonna be, if he goes out there, Carson, he's going out there with the starters. But it's just, to me... Something, you know, I'm like, I don't know. But, you know what, I do in the next game, I don't want to see him play, but I do want to see him play, but I don't want to see him play a lot, if that makes any sense. Maybe a few drives, and that's it. Just so he can get game ready, because when week one comes around, it's going to come like that. And who are we playing? The Washington Redskins? I've been watching them. They still don't know who their starting quarterback is between the two, but they are playing the guys, and they're playing a lot of starters. And a lot of people in the league are, besides us, the Rams, and a few other people, uh, I think still ain't playing the starters. I haven't checked up from last week to this week, but still. Um, let's see. Go Birds. Comment below on your thoughts. Do you want to see Wentz play at all? Are you nervous about, like, ah, let's just not let him play? Um, how do you feel about Miles Sanders and that whole situation? And who do you think they should bring in? And leave a real comment. Don't say, like, Kaepernick, 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 which I wouldn't mind, but all I'm saying is it's not going to happen. Okay. Look for someone. I was going to say Case Keenum, but hey, he's with the Redskins. They're not going to give him up. Uh, just think, just thinking of names. I really wish Josh – Josh. at this point, I wish Josh McCown didn't retire. <laughs> okay, I wish he didn't retire. At least someone could have got him off the Jets and brought him here as a backup. Or Ryan Fitzpatrick was still a free agent. But, and then I, then I was like, well, you could trade for him, but now he's winning the job in Miami because that's how bad Josh, uh, Josh, uh, Josh Rosen is. that he, he, he can't even beat out Ryan Fitzpatrick. But let's go, Birds. Comment on your thoughts. Let me know you guys feel. And who is a quarterback you think we could bring in if we need to bring one in? Go, Birds. I Actually, before I leave, I had one name. I was thinking of Trevor Simeon. You remember Trevor Simeon, the guy who used to play for the Broncos? He had some decent runs, some decent you know games, and then he kind of fell off. I think he's a backup now for what, Minnesota Vikings, if I'm not mistaken. I would like to somehow bring him in. But, hey, I like the guys we've got now, but let's just see what happens. Let me know how you guys feel. Go, Birds. On to the next one.